Okay, that that should do it. Let's, uh... Wow. I have so much fuel, don't I? I don't even really need these bottom tanks. I mean, I don't even think... Let's see. Yeah, they're not even... Like, the fuel isn't even being pulled from them yet. It's being pulled from the top down. So those top white tanks are the ones that are being pulled from. The center tank is redded out, so we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully, I mean for sure, actually, not even hopefully, I, I, I know that we can use that center one for taking off. Okay, we did our quick science here. Yeah. And I don't know if we'll get a temperature reading. It's been a while since... Yeah, we can't do the scan right now. I think we could turn on the display. Yeah, it's it's very cold right now. <laughs> but we, I guess that's uh, just regular space ambient temperature. Not really related to the MUN itself. I did, I must have done a flyby earlier. I probably did, I still remember it. I'm sure I even have uploaded video about it. <laughs> so that's why I'm not getting that science there. All right, uh, quick EVA. Look at all that science we're capturing overall. It's going to be fantastic. All right, let's fast forward through all this boring stuff. I'm just lowering my periapsis on the dark side of the MUN. While, well, we really don't need to do that. This is just how I'm doing it. Maybe it slows down your approach um, when you're trying to land. It probably doesn't really matter that much. But I like to do it on the dark side, that way when I burn uh, and I lower my apoapsis, it's on the light side of the mine, and I can see what's happening. And it's probably more entertaining to the viewer if they can see what's going on instead of some dark blob on the screen. <laughs> so yeah, we can see Kerbin in the rearward window, uh, window. <laughs> camera, but we, we're not worried about that because the mine is a harsh mistress. All right, final burn. Let's do this. Let's land this puppy. Here we go. We only have to worry about a little bit of slipping to the side. But in a few seconds, we will be going straight down, which is what we want to do. Let's turn over our ship. See, we're almost there. Now we only have to really worry about our sink rate when we're going straight down and not slipping to either side so just one degree of motion the vertical here we go don't want to use too much power we don't want to waste that much fuel although this is not the most efficient descent I've ever done either it kind of just went for a really lazy man's <laughs> descent But nonetheless, things can go wrong. They have before. Oh yeah, I've got this though. I've, I've totally got this. Look at this. Once we get closer to like, maybe... Yeah, we, we can see the shadow now. So, this is a good place to lower our descent to 10 meters per second or around there. Make sure we're still going straight down and not slipping to either side, any side. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we so totally got this. As a matter of fact... Well, yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. Just raise it up just a little bit, and then... We can take a pretty picture. We have Kerbin behind us. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. And we're not really descending anymore. <laughs> nope. Oh no. Oh no, I screwed this up. Nope. Okay. Okay, yeah. Put back on the power. Ooh, uh. I nailed it. <laughs> I, I, I stuck the landing. Uh, everything's good. Everything is great. Let's um, deploy our panels, our solar panels. It looks so beautiful with Corbin in the background, doesn't it? We have so much fuel. We probably don't even have to ditch our drop tanks until orbit around, uh, until we go back into orbit around Corbin. So yeah, let's uh, start doing some science here. 
Let's see, we got temperature now. What next? Just checking the fuel, making sure. Yeah, we, we totally have so much fuel to, for our return trip. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Go do something else for a while. <laughs> okay. Quick crew reports before we go EVA. You know, I have my doubts about this lander at first, but it's actually performing really well. I'm so surprised. Oh, that was weird. It didn't work at first. Here we go. Beauty shot for all Kerbal kind. Now let's go play a round of golf. <laughs> he looks so happy, doesn't he? So happy on the... I mean, I would be as ecstatic as that, for sure. First off, because I didn't die. And secondly, I could plant a cool flag. Because that, that's what we always do, right? We always go explore a new area and plant a new flag. What can I type here? Mm-hmm. Plain tofu, not fried. <laughs> uh, I wish I could wake up every morning with that big old grin. <laughs> Maybe I should move to the moon. Here we go, take a couple of shots, screenshots for prosperity. Luckily, we are USDA, orga USDA organic. <laughs> okay, let's do some science really quick. We're gonna have so much science when we re when we return to Kerbin. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Look at all this science. Look at all the science I'm getting. Okay, no. Let's uh, go back. Jump around a little bit first. Jump around around oh I, I never noticed this before um, I, I know it's new for this update because they have the flags on the ships now as decals but I never I don't think I ever remember seeing it on the EVA pack that's amazing looks really cool another shot for prosperity screenshots I mean I'm taking screenshots here okay I think that's about it. Other than running around like a fool. <laughs> For some reason this view reminds me of like a music video from the 90s. I don't know what it is. That off-kiltered moving around view. I wonder what music video that's from that I'm trying to think about. Like I, don't, I can't I can't imagine it, but it just remind that whole style reminds me of that. That's some really weird lens choices and angles that they use for a lot of those grunge videos. I'm sure it's a grunge. It has to be a grunge video. Like, I don't think it was, like, real big fish <laughs> playing ska or whatever with a weird off-kilter camera. Ah, might as well be walking in the sun. Or, you know, the mun. So let's return to our vessel, jump around, <laughs> make more 90s uh, <laughs> callbacks to the 90s <laughs> before we leave the MUN, because that's what one does, right? Ah, uh, the 90s. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, think about taking one last quick screenshot of our vessel, the majestic flag of Tofu. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to that blue marble in the sky, Kerbin. Now I'm sure if Carl Sagan was still around, he would have some inspiring, informational, scientific, f philosophical spiel that he could tell all of us, right? and just 
share in the graces of humanity the information and technology that we gain and garner from going on these long distance trips escaping the atmosphere and orbit actually we didn't really escape the orbit did we we were still on the sphere of influence we're just on the moon anyway that's why he was a scientist and i'm not <laughs> and i'm just the guy on youtube unable to think of these cool things i mean yeah <laughs> it's just not gonna happen even if I was in the editor in Premiere or whatever from Adobe and trying to think up of these cool things to say, I wouldn't because <laughs> I record these videos and then forget about them for a few days and try to plop them back together with some music in the background and like, hey, here internet, you have it. I made this. Enjoy. <laughs> You're not going to get an episode of Cosmos from me. And I think everybody understands that already from the get-go. Like, they're not, oh, what, this guy? I was expecting some amazing informational, informative thingamajiggy with perfect English and inspirational messages. No. <laughs> Nobody's going to be tricked by my lack of knowledge <laughs> and inspirational phrases. Okay, here we go. We are now planning our burn for orbital insertion around the Mun. I can't believe how much fuel we have on this ship. Let's do some quick science here. East Crater. I haven't looked at the map for all the biomes, I guess you would say, of the Mun. I, I am planning for an orbital station around the Mun. Let's, let's communicate all these things first. Or at least um, the repeatable experiments. Yeah, uh, an orbital ship around the Mun where it'll have a lab processing thingamajiggy <laughs> and a few capsules that we can land and take off from the Mun and return into orbits, gather all that data, and transmit it without losing anything, or losing the least amount in the process, right? Not much going on outside the window. There we go. There we go. A little bit... A little bit, there we go. It's going to lower as we go. Love those beauty shots. Maybe I can use a few of these later on in a new music montage. I love making those. I think that's probably what I like most about making videos for YouTube is music montages. Apparently they're not very popular, because I didn't get that many views on mine. Then again, I didn't, I didn't get very many views on anything I do, so why am I surprised, right? <laughs> okay, we're going to prepare for our burn. I love saying that, don't I? <laughs> but yeah, we, we want to be in orbit. Make sure we got a cool camera angle. Uh, that's not it. Neither of those. <laughs> It is cool that we can see our solar panels, though. Let's get the flag in there. Why not? Okay. Now, let's go. Let's do it! Watch our MDF. Okay, here we go. We are in orbit now. We can return to Kerpen. Now for the fun part, listening to future me talk about what's happening in the background <laughs> as we fast forward through all the good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we're on orbit around the moon. I'm plotting a trajectory out of the sphere of influence of the moon to return us, uh, hopefully with a low enough periapsis around Kerbin to be aero captured by its atmosphere. This KSI MFD mod pack is so cool. Using the rear 
camera, you can see the exhaust coming off of the engine. All that Delta V being generated. Or released, rather. I could use the same design to orbit around the sun, Kerbal, and get some science, because I mean, I have so much fuel. It's just nuts. For an early design like this, I mean, coming from me. <laughs> we had to keep that in mind. This is my design. <laughs> have plotted our path, we're now all the way back on an intercept course with Kerbin apparently. <laughs> so we have so much fuel on this rocket, it's amazing. We're only now dropped our tanks. We still have that one center tank left of fuel. But I don't even think we're gonna bother using it that much. Because we're already dipping back into the atmosphere with uh, <laughs> our solar panels extended still. So many things to keep track of. Yeah, there we go, you saw them burn away. Now I'm close to, to KFC, not KFC, I always want to say KFC. I think I have enough to burn there, but no, I, I started going the wrong way from the start and I messed it up. You notice the clouds here are rather dark. I think that's cool that they're trying to attempt uh, weather. See, they're really dark. And it's not just because the sun is, or I mean, sorry, Kerbal is starting to set on the horizon. It really is like that dark. Sorry, we're about to splash down. Let's see how much science we've collected. With nearly 200 science in total. Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially considering we did, we did a quick pass-by, fly-by, right, before. So it's not like we, there was our first mission ever to the Mun. Or else we would have gotten way more science from there. We do have 376 science total. So we can buy some stuff. Let's go shopping. Ah, oh, ladders though. I love... Oh yeah, and for sure let's get that, because it has a barometer. But let's finish this tier first. Even though I'm not really interested in any of these advanced construction parts, there are some decouplers. I think this is the next size up, is it? Twice the size of a leading brand. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the tier 2 sizes. There's a fuel tank. So there is some fuel storage. I think everything else is structural. Well, no, here's one too. Yeah, okay. That makes it worth it. That makes it worth it. Might as well get this other one too. Start building those bigger stages. Well, it's starting to get dark around KSC. We had a successful mission from the MUN. All in all, it was a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Laters.